What's up everybody? It's a basement updating kind of day. I have gotten my flooring in over here. Let's show you what we got here. Ended up getting Cortec flooring. I got a few pieces taken out of the box so you can kind of see the idea of what the color looks like. I can't recall off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure the name of the color was called Calypso Oak. And it's kind of this lighter brown color. Let me take a piece of board over. See it next to the. Yeah, so that's not a really good representation, but anyway, we'll have this light brown up next to the dark cabinetry. All right, I got some rolls of underlayment. That's going to go down and create a barrier between the concrete and this. I also got my quarter round trees my quarter round pieces here and then these moldings that should help to uh, make a nice transition which is going to be right here the transition from the wood floor into carpet but before I get into all that I got an area over here by my basement door that I actually have to do something with let me show you what I'm talking about right here there is an indentation it's probably about just short of two inches wide and probably three quarters of an inch deep. But as you can see, there's this little channel that goes all the way along. If I try to put a piece of the LVP here, it'll have this, you know, spot where it'll be pushing down like that. So what I've actually done is gone to the store and I bought myself a very small box of mortar mix. I mean, this was like five bucks, I think, maybe six dollars at Lowe's. So I think that's actually going to work perfectly for this. Um, you throw a, a, two cups of water in, and maybe it's two and a half cups of water, and you mix it, and then you could just trowel it into there, and then uh, lay it flat and smooth it out and let it dry. And then I, after that, I should be good. I should be able to go ahead and put the underlayment down, and then put the flooring right on top. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. The instructions say you can mix it right in here, but this bucket is really tiny. So I'm going to throw it in this Lowe's bucket I got. I'm going to dump it down in here. By the way, if you don't have any of these, they're like three bucks at Lowe's. I think I have probably 20 of them in my house. They have a lot of good uses. There you go. Let's start mixing. All right, you got it all mixed. That's nice. Got my pieces of tape in here to hopefully not ruin my paint job. And I'm gonna start uh, shoveling it in by hand, basically, down into that little trough and then I'm going to pack it down as much as I can and then I'm going to screed it out flat with this hopefully make it as level as I can should be done in just a couple minutes I think about five minutes later I got it all screeded out and nice and level wasn't too bad overall like 10 or 15 minutes so I'm gonna let that dry then we'll be ready to start putting the underlayment down I am now getting prepped to put the flooring down in the bar area of my basement uh, it's a mess look behind me here it's just I got stuff everywhere everywhere so I got to get this all cleared up so that I can actually 
mop up the floor here, make sure everything's nice and clean. So my next step is to move this all out of the way. I'm actually gonna clean all this concrete up to get as much of the dust up as I can. Let's get to work. All right, I got everything moved and relocated. So now I'm gonna push broom this whole floor and I'll go back and mop it. That way it's nice and clean before I put the underlayment down. This space will be looking very different here, not too long. I got cabinets here, got cabinets here. I got the cardboard boxes that I just need to throw out. I got cabinets all the way down there at the other end of the hall. Ugh. Everything has been mopped and cleaned up and dusted. So now I think it's time to unroll these and start laying it out across this floor here. Get it all taped down. Let's do it. I am getting closer. I've run three rolls of the underlayment. I have a fourth roll because I'm actually going to take this last bit here to about the middle of this roll, uh, middle of this little half wall, and that will go this way down to that end of that. We're almost there. I'm gonna call it quits after this. It's well, after five o'clock now. I'm getting tired and hungry, so we're gonna finish this up. Call it a day. We'll pick it up again tomorrow. All right, there you have it. All of the underlayment is down and taped. But it's quitting time for the night. Got it wrapped all the way around in the little cubby down into here. I got all these pieces of Cortex holding all the edges down so it doesn't roll up. The next step for me now is actually to get these cabinets into place, get them fitted in, and then bolted down. Um, I have ordered the refrigerator or the little mini fridge, the one that goes underneath the, the bar over there. So that should be in in the next few days or so. But I'll start getting these cabinets put in against the wall. And then I'll be able to start putting the flooring down too. So that'll be exciting. Stay tuned.